Good Wednesday morning. I hope you're doing well this week. I hope you're having a productive week and things are going great for you. I want to start you out with my little funny and maybe to inspire you. I want you to have a good Wednesday, you hear? This little boy's telling you that and that's what I'm telling you as well. We need to have a good attitude and we need to think positively. You know, this is hump day. We're halfway through it. I want you, maybe you're in a position right now where you need some help. Maybe you're uh, psychologically, mentally, physically, you got something going on and you just need help. We all get that way sometimes, don't we? And so I wanted to talk about that this morning. I wanted you to understand the scripture shares with us and tells us and reminds us over and over and over, even with the greatest of the prophets in the Bible, they needed help. And God was always there to provide the help that they needed. Sometimes we think we need things and we don't, but God knows what we need. So I wanted to share with you from Acts 12 verse 10. I want to take you back into the book of Acts. We see the church getting started. This particular scripture I'm talking about, Peter had been put into jail and he was going to be executed for preaching the gospel. And the scripture says when they were past the first and second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. You know the story well. You've heard it many times. I've preached it myself. The angel appeared to Peter and his group and led him out of prison, opened the gates for him, unlocked the prison doors, and led him out of the town. And we see that an angel was doing this. You know, when we're too weak, to fight our own battles. God sends his helpers to encourage us, to deliver us, to empower us, and sometimes to even carry us and fight for us. So, you know, when we think about that, and I know you've probably heard it said often, uh, a guardian angel. Each of us has uh, a guardian angel assigned to us. You know, when I was a kid, I always said I had a legion of angels because I was always getting into some kind of fix or mess. And so God was always, he had to send a lot of angels to protect me or I'd be dead. I had done so many crazy things on bicycles and motorcycles and all those things. But when we think of guardian angels and we hear people talking about this, we picture ourselves as that little child and the guardian angel is a big angel that is powerful and strong. And God uses them to protect us and to carry out his will. Do you know we hear about this and we talk about it, but it's true. Psalms 91 11 confirms this, for he shall give his angels charge over thee. That's you and me, to keep us or thee in all thy ways. In other words, God's gonna have his angels protecting us, to look over us. But you know, there's other times I know we picture that divine intervention and we see that as well with angels looking over us. But there's other times that God uses human helpers. We like to call them human angels. Peter had this kind of encouragement in his life. We see in 1 Corinthians 9 verse 5, Peter's wife, she traveled with him as he went out and spread the gospel and she encouraged him. We know that Peter also had his fellow apostles and his friends that were encouraging him, that went with him. His brother Andrew, he was a constant support for Peter. But none of them could be with Peter when he was imprisoned. And we see in the book of Acts 12 that I've shared with you, he was facing execution. That's when the Lord stepped in and he sent a divine helper from another realm. It was an angel to deliver Peter. Angels were involved in the early church, releasing the apostles from jail. And we see this in Acts 5, verse 19. They were directing Philip in Acts 8, verse 26. They were speaking to Cornelius in Acts 10, verse 3. They were striking the tyrant Herod dead in Acts 12, 23. And they were encouraging the apostle Paul on a sinking ship in Acts 27, 23. You see, the Lord sends us help as we need it. 
And we need to be mindful that help might be heavenly in the form of an angel that we can't see, or it could be human. But either way, you and I can trust in God in our difficult times that we're not going to be alone. God is going to provide. He's going to help us. You know, you might be going through something right now that you need a guardian angel. You need some help. You need to lift up your prayer, your voice to God. Just give in. Cry uncle and say, you know what? I can't do it, Father. I just can't figure it out. I don't have the resources. I don't have the strength anymore. Show me. Provide for me. Give me the way. That way may not be what you want, but God will provide a way if you trust him, believe in him, and follow him, and be filled with his Holy Spirit. God has more ways of providing for us than we can even imagine. Sometimes we got to think outside the box, or we just don't need to think at all. We just need to put it in God's hands, and God's going to take care of it for us. Maybe you need that help today. I want you to come and join us at church and receive a blessing in God's Word, not only from the sermon, but also from the love and fellowship. You'll feel the Holy Spirit in our congregation, and I want you to be a part of that. We have Sunday school at 9.30 on Sunday mornings and church at 10.30. We would love to have you join us. We also live stream just like we're doing right now so that you won't miss our Word because that's important. You need it every day to stay closer to God. I want to close and ask you to pray with me. Almighty God, I ask your blessings and your goodness upon these, my friends and my fellow Christians that are listening to me today. Be with them. Bless them, Father. Bless their hands in whatever they endeavor to do, whether it's work, whether it's making a living, making money, or whether it's honoring and glorifying you. I pray you'll give them good health, give them wealth, give them peace, comfort in their families as well. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Pray you have a good day, and I hope the rest of your week is good as well. Look forward to talking to you soon, and I pray that God's blessings will continue to be upon you.